Good morning, folks. Today we'll be looking at a bit of space weather, the solar polar magnetic field flip and its connection to sunspot cycles, some gorgeous shots of a nearby symbiotic star, and a book review. Let's begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and it was a much quieter day, and that's from relative quiet we had before. No significant solar flares. The solar wind at Earth is very quiet. Geomagnetic conditions are calm. Plasma filaments have remained stable. They are unlikely to be any disruptions in the solar wind coming this weekend. And here is the X-ray flux chart. We're taking some M-class flares middle of the week, but even those have died down now. We're firmly seeing C-class X-ray production at a maximum. This is mostly due to a lack of sunspot complexity. These spots may be well-numbered and have a bit of size, but they're not magnetically complex and are therefore not producing much in the way of solar flares. You may have heard the announcement from NASA and NOAA this week that we have officially hit sunspot maximum, something that frankly was true months ago. But now they have declared it, meaning the sun's magnetic fields have reversed. And that is indeed what the data shows us. We still have another year of sunspot maximum and then the geomagnetic maximum in the one to two years after that. Very soon we should be seeing the reversed polarity sunspots that indicate the declining trend beginning in the cycle, even though they will still be quite active for a while. Let's go next to our Aquarii, a symbiotic star about 700 light years away, doing quite the fireworks display. This binary system does a weird semi-continuous directed micronova action along its polar axis, spewing material outwards from the interaction dynamics and eruptive behavior of the mass transfer. When stars encounter outside material, they do tend to erupt, whether that's from a binary star, a gas cloud, dust, or a comet. Folks, yesterday a fairly popular substack did a review of my textbook, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, 3rd edition. I want to thank them for the positive review and identification of importance. And for those who do not know, the place to get our books now is the Observer Ranch store, either in person or online. Not only do we have my textbook of solar climate forcing, but my other two books on the Earth disaster cycle and the magnetic pole shift and everything that's coming along with it. You can get those books and much more at the store. We also have several upcoming events at Observer Ranch. We'll be talking disaster cycle this Saturday in a combined event with my birthday. There's a Halloween event for kids. And then next month, the informational conferences return to the observers. Come see us, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.